or first asset pack version 0.1 is live on itch.io and link will be down below but we are not stopping there in this pixel log today we are leveling up our itch.io page and profile making everything look way more sharper and also more professional plus we'll be taking the pixel scroller pack from version 0.1 to 0.2 which will be adding a few new exciting things, so let's just dive right into it. So if you have uploaded anything to itch.io before, you probably already know that there are some settings that you can tweak. But at first, it can feel a little bit limited until you actually start playing around with it and actually getting the hang of it. And as you can see here right behind me, some of these pages right here actually look a little bit more than just your basic settings. Like you can probably do more stuff, like look at all of these things here and the animations and stuff like that. You can do quite a bit of few things if you actually look around the different pages. And when you're just starting out, your page might look nothing more than a couple of colors, some text, and maybe just a small banner or a few images. Kind of like mine did at the start. So once you actually start to work with your banners and backgrounds and mixing it up a little bit with custom made stuff and a lot more options will actually begin to open up. Especially if you are an artist, then you can use your PNG files that will actually match the colors of your site, letting your background flow seamlessly into your art, making it way more beautiful than it was before. To start planning your itch.io page, there's a thousand ways to actually begin, but what I would personally like to do is just quickly set a foundation and get down the main pointers I want for my page. Ask yourself things like, is this page gonna be a complete overhaul with my personal background? Or maybe just hiding the background color and giving the itch page just a little bit extra to it to make it a little bit easier. Or do I want animations, a big picture, a small picture maybe, and are these gonna be repeated? Or do I want pixel art or maybe something entirely different? These are some of the questions you could be asking yourself before you start. I would also try not to go too far with it as you don't want people to leave your page when they turn in. So try to keep it maybe a little bit more tame in some areas, but then again, it, this is entirely up to you of course. Now we need to get the sizes of what we're actually working with, and for that I highly recommend heading to the page on itch.io by Hedgy Expresso, where you will actually be able to see everything about sizes and pictures and how they work on your itch.io profile page. And with that we can begin making our itch.io assets for the background that we will be using in today's episode. To start making our own assets for the itch.io page, I will be using a sprite since that is what I use for my pixel art and also my asset pack, but feel free to use any software you like or you're comfortable with, kind of like paint I guess. And once you begin you need to map out the area you want to draw in. Here I have set up both 192 by 108 and also 9020 by 1080 which will basically be the different resolutions we are going for with this. This is also to depend on how much detail you actually want to include in this thing. Just remember that to export the 192 by 108 size, you will actually need to export it at at least a thousand percent when you are exporting, as you will get a much more clear pixel art look that we are actually going for, instead of like getting that kind of pixel art blurry line. I will also be making these into a sprite and Photoshop files for download, along with the background we are going to make with the link down below on the itch.io page. First, to get an idea of how it works, let's make a quick cloudy sky background to kind of get the hang of it. While doing this, you could also take advantage of the tile mode, which you can actually turn on at the top of the sprite under the view and then tile mode, and this will actually let you see the background and how it will look if it repeats itself, just like on itch.io where you can actually choose this as an option. And with the sky done, we can then go ahead and try to make something a little bit different in another ballpark. Here we'll go up to space where we'll actually try to make a starry night sky background. Also in this background I will use something called the FX convolution matrix, which is very cool as it will actually add an effect that will make something look like this to this. So we will kind of get a blur effect which will make something have a glowy effect which is very cool and can actually do a lot to a very simple background as seen here. You could also animate this effect to make the stars have like a kind of a glowy effect but that is overall something for another time. But overall this turned out way better than I expected it to do. And with that I also took some background tiles which I made earlier and turned them into a tile map and then I actually just fill out the background and here we have some very very simple backgrounds for dirt, wood and also some stony backgrounds which I will also be adding to the background pack I will be uploading to itch.io. While doing this I also decided to add some bonus backgrounds as you can see here. Some of these backgrounds as you see behind me right now and how they will actually look on the itch.io page are just some of the things you might find in this pack. I also gotta say this actually turned out way better than I expected it to be because this is the first time I'm playing around with backgrounds especially in the pixel art style. So this is actually a happy ending for it. But overall this is just the very basics of what you can actually do. As mentioned you can also animate these and make them into a gif and then you will have an animated background making everything a little bit more special. And as we went over earlier, some pages do have quite a bit of artwork and interesting ideas for the pages as seen here. You can really go wild with your ideas and do some very specific special backgrounds for your own itch.io page. 
Also, let me know if you want to have more backgrounds for the pack, as I could update it a bit more and even add some more animations in the future if that is something people would like to see in this background pack I have made. But now let's get into the templates and resources, which I will be putting up on the itch.io in a package of its own. Also, as these videos are taking a bit of time to make and also making all of the resources available, it would be very appreciated if you hit that like button and if you want to see more, you could also hit the subscribe button as well, so definitely do that. They're right here, 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 here. As seen in step 3, we made use of some templates where we could see where the page would actually be at and also made a few backgrounds that could actually be used on itch.io. And so I decided that these backgrounds will be uploaded to itch.io itself with a template files in a sprite and also in Photoshop for anyone to use, so feel free to play around with those. And you might even be able to see more new backgrounds and templates there depending on when you are watching this video, so have a look out for that. And maybe something new has been added just like this, which I have just added to the pack. Then once you have downloaded the templates and the backgrounds package, you will then be able to open up the source files or just use one of the PNG pictures on your itch.io site as a background. For making your own backgrounds, you have two different versions. One is the 192 by 108 which is a downscaled version of the 9020 by 1080 version That means if you want to make a pixel art like I did in step 3, you could choose the smaller version as it is easier to draw in and then just upscale it a thousand percent when actually exporting the PNG. Then if you want to have more of like a digital art for the background, then the 1920 by 1080 version is probably the way to go as a normal standard, as here you will have a direct size for the website which we will be using. So remember to just export it correctly with the size up if you're using the smaller size and also before exporting remember to hide the banner section layer in the templates that will actually show where the banner would be if you actually used it on your itch.io page. Now with your itch.io page looking pretty good, we also need to fix that boring profile page as well. So if you go into your profile at the top right, you will then come into your profile page and this is how mine looks currently. And then if you hit the edit theme right here, you will then come into the same options as you have on your itch.io page as we already know kind of how this works. But you do have some new options here such as how you want to display your packs and there's even a hidden feature that you can open up for which actually allows you to do a lot more customization on your profile page. But this is only possible if you ask itch.io to actually open up your account to CSS which is a coding language where you will be able to customize your page even more. Kind of like the hover effect, moving objects and even the mouse how it looks. But do keep in mind that this is a coding language and not just given to anyone. But feel free to follow the link here and you will be able to read more about how to actually activate CSS on your profile page. We will not be covering CSS on our itch profile yet, but maybe in the future, as I don't have access to it currently. As you might have noticed, my itch profile looks a little bit different since I have some text and pixel art covers for the links on my profile, so let's have a quick look at how you can actually set this up for yourself. First you will have to go to the edit profile at the top left right here and then just scroll all the way down to the bottom. Here you will have a profile content area where you can then design your profile and also add videos, pictures and so on. And as you can see here for my profile, I have just added a table and inside this table I have added some pictures and gave them linked by clicking on them. Underneath that I have added some engagement text and also a little welcoming message. Pretty simple and straightforward, right? Now just go ahead and play around with it until you're happy with how your profile page actually look. And you can also use the method we used on our itch.io page where we actually got our backgrounds and transitions to make it more personalized profile page. And now for the first update for our pixel scroller asset pack which I've been working on and also which we'll be seeing here. I have decided to add some new trees and it took quite a bit of time actually experimenting with these and chatting with people on the discord as well. But I finally got them looking like this and I'm super happy with how they actually turned out. The method I ended up using for this was the spray tool at the 6x12 and also with 4 pixels. I also started with the dark shade and then gradually worked up into the lighter colors with I actually choose from. As you can see on the side here I had like a little color asset pack thing or color pack, I don't know, color cube. I don't know what to call them there, but they are pretty smart to make. But right now the pack only has one wood structure, but I do plan to expand it in the future so there will be more variety in the different trees. For now we have 7 different trees with just different tops which fit way better into the packs than the previous ones we worked on in the first episode. We also needed to actually make some more nature, so I made a few bushes and also some background foliage like flowers to liven up the small background areas along the paths a little bit. So this can be used to basically just make it a little bit more lively in the different ground tiles. These are pretty simple, but going forward I might actually use the treetop method for making bushes too, as this would actually help make the pack feel way more cohesive, 
but for now this is how they will look but I will be updating the pack over time though. So let me know if you actually think I should continue using the treetop workflow for other foliage as well and I could make the pack feel better overall together. Also remember that we are still in the early stages and this is just a point two update and there will be more content coming along the pixel log as we continue these episodes. And talking about more content, we also have rocks now. We have this rock, this rock, this rock, this rock. We have many rocks. And in different variants too, look at this. But as you can see, I experimented with different rock types inspired by various biomes and games. I also made the sandstone, the regular stone and some lighter color rocks, which could be turned in as crystals or maybe ice formations. This also opened up the possibility of adding different biomes to the pack in the future, or maybe even creating alternative packs if there's interested in that. With everything ready, I created a point two a sprite file and moved all the assets into it, cleaning it up a little bit and making the pack actually feels a little bit more complete. This also allowed me to actually export the full image for people exporting it into game engines which will make it a little bit easier to use if you're using like the tile map. I will still include all of the individual images as well for convenience so everyone using the pack can work with it however they like. And that's it for the second video here on the channel. Hopefully you enjoyed this behind the scenes look at how itch.io pages actually work and got some ideas for spicing up your own page. You might also have noticed that this episode has slightly a different format than the first one with me actually being in it. So I hope you have enjoyed this little format change and let me know what you actually think of it. With that I also get to show off some amazing supporter names for our Patreon. If you want to help fuel my daily quest for the chicken sausage roll, check out my Patreon down below and your name could also be featured kind of like these names growing by. And if you haven't seen the first episode yet, where we made our first pixel art asset pack and also uploaded it to itch.io, go check out that one to get the full progress from the start to finish. Also don't forget to like and subscribe to follow our little journey and check out my itch.io or Patreon for the download links to everything we have created in this video. And since this is a brand new channel and also a style for me, I'm still looking for feedback so drop your thoughts in the comments down below as I will love to hear them. And that's it for me today so go join the discord, stay tuned, stay tipsy and I will catch you in the next one, peace out.